Alright guys, so today in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a tycoon in Roblox. So your first step is to actually go into the view tab and get these three tabs open. Explore, Properties, and Toolbox. Now, the Toolbox lets you get models from Roblox. The Properties lets you view the properties of these models, pretty self-explanatory. And the Explorer allows you to inspect these models and see what scripts and other models are inside of them. So your first step is to get this model. It is called Zednov's Tycoon Kit. So if you don't actually have it, there'll be a link in the description. So oh, you, should, you should see something that says ungroup me. So go ahead and right click it and click ungroup. Now you should see three things named thumbnail camera, delete me, and Zednov's Tycoon Kit. So go ahead and delete thumbnail camera and delete me. And you should be left with something that says Zednov's Tycoon Kit. So go ahead and open this and you should see a bunch of things and go ahead and open tycoons. Now this is your tycoon. Fighting bears is the tycoon. So go ahead and rename this to whatever you want. So cool tycoon. All right, now go ahead and open cool tycoon and you should see a bunch of things. Now go ahead and open buttons and purchases. Now in here, you already have a bunch of things you can purchase, the buttons and the things you can purchase. So there's the, you know, the whole dropper system with the money. There's the colorizer, materializer, and the walls and the, owner, and the owner only door. Now, I'm pretty sure the only point of actually making a tycoon is allowing you to add your own buttons. So say you wanted to add a model in. Say you wanted to add this ball in. So go ahead and move it to wherever you want it to be in your tycoon area. And let me just rotate this. There we go. There we go. All right. Now, because I want my ball to appear, or sorry, be able to be bought early in the tycoon, like once you first start the tycoon, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the button of dropper one, copy it, and then go ahead and paste it. Now go ahead and move this up to wherever you want to. I preferably put it next to the ball or the thing you're trying to buy. Now go ahead and find out what this model right here is called. So for me, it's called part. But I would like to be able to, you know, remember better. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it ball. Oops, I'm gonna go ahead and capitalize that just to make it a little easier. There we go. Now go ahead and go to your button that's right here and rename it. So this first part should be your model name. So for mine, it's ball. And then the price you wanna sell it for. So I'm gonna make mine $10. So now your next step after doing that is go into the button itself and you, oh, you should see five things. Uh, dependency, humanoid, object, price, and head. Now your first step is to go into object and go into properties and you should see this. So your next step is to change this value to uh, whatever your model's name is. So mine is called ball. Go ahead and put ball. Then go into price and change this value to whatever the price you want of the uh, ball itself. So for me, $10. So once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and put this ball, the actual button itself, into the buttons category and move the model into the purchases. So if we go ahead and test this by playing play, or by clicking play, you should see that once we walk through this tycoon and claim it, it allows us to begin working. And once we do that, we should see that our button has appeared, our ball button. So go ahead and get enough money so that we can actually get the button. That should be enough. Go ahead and click on this button to get your money. And yep, you have got your ball. So that is how you make a button for your tycoon. Now you can add a bunch more buttons. It's completely up to you. You can make a second floor. You can expand out here. You make it as big and glorious as you want. But that is really it. Uh, it, this is probably one of the easiest methods out there of making a tycoon. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment of what tycoon that you're going to make on Roblox. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.